This started in uh, Slovakia and then in, in Kenya. I was doing a thing with uh, producers without borders because uh, in this world now, only rich kids can record. So now we're losing the music of, um, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, economically challenged people because they can't afford the process. And then someone would say, well, they just get a computer and make it on the computer. Some people don't have a computer even. So we wanted to um, take uh, great producers to work with uh, the producers in Russia or wherever the country is that we do this in. And they would teach them some of the ways of the West because if they're only thinking, oh, I want to be like what's on the radio, which has a certain um, uh, quality, just like you as a film, uh, a film guy, well, what's the best camera? You know, okay, I need to, either we can make our own or we can get the best, you know, that exists. So in this situation, we want to introduce them to, uh, like Steve Van Arden, who was the um, um, uh, engineer for Stevie Wonder, you know, would come and we would get different producers that can help these kids make Russian music the best way that they can and share whatever we have that they can use to help you know, the industry, but we're making a compilation record. So now you've got 12, you know, 12 kids or 13, whatever we put on the compilation, and each of these kids can't afford to make an entire CD by themselves, right? But we can put them all on one CD, and then the radio station now have 12 songs that they can play that are top quality, you know, recorded and produced. Uh, during this week, it's like a boot camp. Uh, they can come here and have a have a discussion on how to give an interview or what not to answer or how to manipulate these things they don't know, you know. So we don't just throw them into the world and hope that they do okay and say something stupid, you know, and don't cross the legs and, the, you know, all these simple things that we can, can share that they don't even know they need to know. Um, once we have this compilation record, we will film the process of uh, hopefully with some of the Russian songwriters to help to create uh, with the you know the Russian mindset uh, and language because it's difficult sometimes to, to do this and some of these some of these kids aren't songwriters so they will need help you know with a songwriter but we film the process we see them growing we see them learning it's not a competition we're not kicking anybody out we're watching them develop watching them grow and the audience is discovering them and creating a personal bond. Well, I love this kid. He's going to, oh, he's so much, he's getting better, better, better. This is great. This guy's great. He's learning how to dance. He's learning how to do whatever it is he wants to do. Learning how to trust himself or herself. And we get to see this. You know, so then now we have this development of all these, these kids. And we took the competition out because this is a problem with most of these shows is that they're singing something only because they think they can win. And they want to impress you as opposed to this is who they are and this is how they feel. So we want to create the environment that they really can get to their truth and we applaud it instead of like, eh, his truth was better than your truth. This is, doesn't work this way. You know, so once we have this uh, compilation CD or whatever and we can get it to different radio stations, like this is what the sound of Krasnodar. It's amazing. It's all these great kids that you didn't even know. And they can now reach the different DJs um, because, wow, let's check it out. It's our own people. Let's see. Oh, this is great. Who did the, who's who's so who's playing guitar? Slash from the Guns N' Roses. Yeah, we just you know we call up friends and then we make we make it happen. You know, and then uh, from this you can take a tour. You know, we can go to Vienna. We can, we can go to France. You know, this is the sound of Krasnodar. Well, uh, and from there you go, it depends on the money, how much money we can get together to do this. Hopefully everyone will donate because it's important to, um, as we've been saying all week, it's important to water the flower in the desert instead of trying to plow and make a farm in the desert. You know, you take the ones who, who shine and, and you water them and you nourish them so they don't die. You know, and sometimes we worry so much about let's just 
you know, make it for the masses and, and try to be celebrities. No, no, no. We take the we take the flowers that you have. You know, let's let's support that first. You know, and then other flowers will be brave enough to 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 try next time. You know?